Okay, here's a second chance of recording. So this is the uh, the patch panel, uh, galvanized sheet metal on the top and bottom, with a um, elbow connector here. Let's see if that helps it. And uh, I welded that to the back of that piece of galvanized metal with the TIG, just to try to make it look clean. And the, uh, the my view goggles. They actually work pretty good. They allow you to look over the top of them while you're flying so that you can keep your eye on the airplane while you're flying the airplane. And uh, i got to add another video out for the uh, uh, recorder because I'm currently wiring off of that, and that's a no-no. And um, then we got the airplane. Hello. And uh, all it is is it's a, a servo with a piece of plastic gear with a groove, and it's got a uh, piece of uh, spider wire fish line mm -hmm. going to a reduction here mm -hmm. to do the uh, the gear ratio. Right. I could have done it with gears, but then you got to worry about keeping everything meshed. And then the same idea here: big big wheel, little wheel. It squeaks a little; it's a little tight. And I've just got that tied to. Um, the like that and um, in the back we've got the video and transmitter battery which is a 500 milliamp hour three cell lipo and then the 900 megahertz transmitter and the poor uh, the poor antenna here that has taken a little bit of wind damage but eh, it works really good so I'm just going to leave it like it is um, it's it was it was it was um, it was much more hexagonal before, but yeah, it still worked. I didn't have any troubles with it, which surprised me. Need to tune it maybe, but there it is. Now, do you fly with the glasses on? Yeah. What do you do? Just look over them. And 